Hello again and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be doing something uh, pretty cool actually. Uh, so FMOD 2.0 just came out and with it there was a very interesting feature that got a lot of people's attention on Twitter and it was this one right here, Reaper integration. So it turns out with the new FMOD version you can actually not only integrate uh, the your Reaper project so you can kind of link your rendered assets straight into FMOD but you can also kind of import the timelines and use that as an event straight from the Reaper project. How cool is that? Uh, so today we're going to look at, not that, not the timeline thing. We're gonna start with uh, just linking your Reaper projects uh, to an FMOD project. Uh, I figured we'd do that first because that's pretty simple and I also kind of want to experiment a little bit more with the timeline thing before I start sharing it with you guys because I'm still kind of still kind of learning it myself to be honest. Uh, but yeah, let's crack on with that. So here we are in FMOD 2.0 and the first thing we're going to want to do is go to our preferences tab which if you're on a PC will be edit and preferences but I think if you're on Mac to find your preferences tab you might have to go file and I think it's in here somewhere from what I remember. It might not be but it, it should exist somewhere. And if you go into preferences, you'll see right at the end, there's a new tab called door. And this is basically what we use to kind of set things up for linking our FMOD, uh, sorry, our Reaper projects to FMOD. Uh, before we start doing it, the main thing you want to make sure is correct is the first section here, the Reaper application path. Now, this is basically linking FMOD to the location of uh, the Reaper program itself, not your project, but the actual executable file. Uh, if you're on Windows, it should automatically uh, do this for you, have this path here. However, if when you downloaded Reaper, you decided to store the program in a different location than this one here, then you can select it by clicking browse and finding the executable yourself. But if you put it in the default location, uh, FMOD should be able to automatically find it anyway by just searching your program files, uh, Reaper, six times 64, blah, 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 I should find it. Uh, if you're on Mac, there's also a, another default sort of path in the files. Um, so just like here, it should be able to automatically find it. The only time you'll need to change it is if you decided to save the Reaper program in some other location, okay? So make sure you've got that uh, ready to go. Now, if I quickly jump over to Reaper, this is the project I'm going to be linking to FMOD. As you can see, it's a pretty pretty small one. All there is is basically just three sort of sections, uh, all of which have like a, a master bus uh, for all three tracks that, you know, kind of, they're all their own sound effect. And all of these sound effects are kind of uh, stuff I've made on this channel before, so you should recognize them if I quickly play them for you. Oh, whoops, not that one. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning. So we have the sci-fi gun from the Doom episode. We've got the monster from Resident Evil 2. I can't remember what that was called now. And we've also got the, the spell sort of magic sound from Bioshock 2. It's not not Bioshock 2, Bioshock Infinite. It's not really important that you know that, but I just thought I'd share you <laughs> them so you know what I'm working with. So the way we're gonna link this to FMOD is simply by finding its uh, file, the project's file location in uh, our hard drive or our computer's folders. Now for me, I save all of my, oh, I've just shown you it straight away. So I save all of my Reaper projects uh, in this folder here in my documents, Reaper Media. Uh, they used to be a bit of a mess. It literally just be, they'd all be shoved in here with all the media files, all the rendered assets, they'd just all be in here and it was a complete pain to find anything. And I've started organizing them a bit, bit better. So for this one, uh, it was FMOD and Reaper demo. And this is it here, the .rpp file. So this is the file you open up whenever you want to open up a pre-saved uh, Reaper project. All we want to do to link it to FMOD is uh, go into FMOD, let's close this preferences tab, and in the assets browser tab where you find all of your you know, assets in your project, which I think you can also find by getting into the audio bin of FMOD by hitting control free, I think it's the same. Yeah, it looks the same. Either one, you want to find that file, the RPP file, or the .rpp file, and simply just drag it in like that. And there you go, you've pretty much now just linked the project to FMOD. Now the whole point of linking a Reaper project to FMOD is so that you can quickly extract the rendered audio files you create in Reaper into FMOD. Now in my case, if I go back to my files, uh, you'll see that I've actually organized this uh, project into a few folders. I've got one for all the kind of recorded and imported audio, so all the media basically that makes up my Reaper project is in here, so we don't really want any of that. But all the renders I create from the project, all the things, you know, 
I created at the end of it when I want to keep are in here, in this folder called renders. So this is all the stuff we want to uh, have automat automatically imported into uh, FMOD. So what we want to do is click on our link to our project, come down to where it says rendered assets path, click browse and then find that folder. So there we can see it's here, renders, select that and then we should notice a little tab appear. If I click the tab, all of our audio files, all of our renders are now here ready to go as linked audio files. Now alternatively, you might not have a folder for all the renders of each project. You might just save all of your renders into the same folder that holds your project's file, the .rpp file. In that case, all you need to do is drag the file into FMOD and automatically it should be able to find those uh, renders for you. If this is how you do it, I would recommend that you do have a folder for all your media files that make up the renders because otherwise they're also gonna get imported and you'll just have a long list of audio files and you won't be able to tell which of the renders you want to use within FMOD and which are just the individual media files that made up those reference uh, renders in the first place. But either way, like I said, they will be imported as what's called linked audio files. And these are basically audio files that don't exist within your FMODs projects assets files, I believe. I believe that's how it works. They still exist within your Reapers files, uh, but you can still use them uh, as if they were in your FMOD project. So we can quickly create a, an event. Uh, we can, uh, doesn't matter what we call it. We can quickly go to our audio bin. We can select the file we want and we can stick it in an event. And then we can, I don't know, do what we want with it. We can maybe add a loop. Uh, I don't know, make it, Volume move, you, you get the idea. We can now create uh, an event. Let's turn it up a bit so you can hear it. There we go, you can now create an event with that audio. If you were finished with the uh, Reaper project and you wanted to not use linked files anymore, you wanted those files to be like normal audio assets in FMOD, just have their own little, little folder within your FMOD project's files in your computer, all you need to do is right click the link and go unlink door projects. And this will give you a little warning, basically saying you won't be able to undo this process, so make sure you want to do it. I'm going to click yes and quickly show you what that looks like. And now look, they look like basically normal audio files. Now because this process is undoable, I'm just going to quickly delete that now. Uh, I'm just going to quickly link the project back to my FMOD project. Uh, so we can talk about the next thing. Now the main benefit to this I've found is that you can basically make changes in your Reaper project and they will automatically be made within FMOD. So if I quickly jump into my Reaper project, uh, I'm gonna quickly make a change and we'll see how it changes in FMOD. So originally when I created those renders, what I did is I used uh, Reaper's I forget what this is called now, region matrix? Region render matrix, that's what it's called, uh, to render out an audio file for each of these master uh, buses I created for each of these region sections, as you can see. So there'd be one uh, that was the sum of all of these audio files, for example, one that was the sum of all of these, and one that was the sum of all of these. Well, I think I'll do to demonstrate the change, I think I'll just give it a different name. So yeah, if I, what I'll do is I'll render these out again and I'll just change the name. So if we go back to FMOD, I think that first one was Master Sci-Fi Cannon Shot. So if I go to Reaper, I'm gonna quickly get up the uh, render menu. Uh, I'm gonna change the name to, let's just call it Demo. I'm gonna make sure that I render only the first master track uh, and use the region matrix, one region. Uh, let's also make sure we save it in the right place. So remember I've removed my, uh, what do you call it? My renders folder. So they're all gonna get saved in the same folder that the project is inside, which is FMOD and Reaper demo. And let's just quickly check. Yep, FMOD and Reaper demo, that's the right place. So make sure that's saved there. Also, by the way, I think at some point in the future, I might even make a separate video about the region render matrix because it's a pretty pretty cool, cool tool in the Reaper. Very handy and it's definitely worth knowing about if you're doing a lot of sound effects in one project. Now, before I render out this file, I'm just gonna quickly jump back into FMOD and show you this little section uh, in the preferences under door. Uh, and it's this bit here, automatically render linked assets. So this section is basically deciding when you want to refresh the linked assets you've linked from Reaper to FMOD. By default, it should be selected on when the door project is saved. So whenever we save Reaper, uh, FMOD ref will refresh and check all of the rendered files again to make sure they're up to date. Uh, so I think I'm gonna leave it on that for now. Let's then go back to Reaper, let's render our file. Let's close it, and then to make sure it refreshes in FMOD, let's hit Control S to save it. Then you can see it's saving. If we also jump into FMOD, you can see it's refreshing. So let's just give that a second. 
And there we go. You can now see we've got a new file called demo ready to be used. Now alternative, obviously this is just one example. You don't have to use it just for <laughs> changing the names of your files. Uh, but alternatively, you can right click on your link to the repo project and select refresh selected assets. You can manually decide when you want to refresh these assets. You can also do that to individual files. So say you wanted to do more than just change the name of a file. <laughs> Let's say you completely redesigned one of these uh, regions, one of these sounds I created in Reaper, I don't know, say this, the spell one, was that the one I selected? Uh, yeah, the spell ones. Let's say, I don't know, we did some different processing, changed the pictures of it, whatever. Uh, once we've done that, we can right click it, click refresh selected assets, and it should update for you. So in the door tab, there's also this section here, which says automatically remove linked assets. Now this is basically giving you uh, the option to remove any links, any assets that you've removed from your computer, from your hard drive, from the disk, uh, when you perform the refresh between the projects. So let's say we go back to the folder that had all of our uh, renders in. If we delete them for a second, let's just get rid of them all. Uh, and then refresh our project. So let's quickly right click the link to the Reaper project and refresh it. There we go, you can see it's come up with this message, just basically saying that the files have been removed uh, and it can no longer find it. So we now have the option to either delete those links uh, or we can, we can keep them if we want. If we just click cancel, we can still use those links. So for example, if I quickly try one of them, you can still hear them. Uh, they'll just no longer be updated basically. So if we go to events, Quickly create an event, uh, go to our audio bin, open up the link to our project and use one of these missing files. There we go, they're still usable. There'll just no longer be a reference to them uh, within the folders that contain our, uh, what you call it, our renders basically. Well, interestingly enough, demo's still there for some reason, it survived somehow, I don't know how. Uh, but there you go, they can still be used and then if you do want to get rid of the links, you can either click on that uh, delete option that came up when uh, it finished updating, or you can just highlight them all, click delete, it will give you the same menu, do you want to delete them? Uh, yes we would, and they're back, they're gone. And yeah, there we go, that was just a quick little video on how you can uh, quickly set up a link between a Reaper project and an FMOD project. Uh, so like I said earlier, it's a nice, really handy way actually just to get your render straight into FMOD without faffing around with folders and stuff. Uh, so let me know if you enjoyed it, let me know if you want to uh, see a video on the uh, the timeline one where we can take a Reaper timeline uh, and import that as an event straight into FMOD. Uh, that's good, like I said earlier, that's going to take a little bit of more working out on my end. I'm still, sometimes I can get it to work, but sometimes it doesn't, and then sometimes it half doesn't, half doesn't. So I don't want to make it until, you know, I know what I'm doing exactly. So let me know if you want to see that. I'm going to put a link to the page on the FMOD website that actually shows you how to do all this stuff. So if you want to read up on that, you can. And it should also, it also teaches you about how you link uh, the Reaper timeline to uh, an FMOD event. So if you want to just jump into that now, you can do Here we are, installing the Reaper timeline exporter. So there you go. Uh, I'll have that linked uh, underneath this video. As always, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at HenryScott0. Uh, the FMOD and Unity Essentials course is still on its way. I've basically got one more lesson to kind of write and polish out, and then it's just recording them and getting it out of the door. So that is on its way. Uh, and yeah, blah, 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 blah. Check me out, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Anyway. I've been Henry Scott. Thank you very much for watching uh, and I'll see you in the next one.